guys, uh, Mom in Quarantine 2020 here. It is 3.20 Eastern Standard Time in Indiana. And it's day eight of our self-quarantine. Okay, I have to be honest, I did break quarantine about 30 minutes ago. The governor of Indiana put out the, you know, strong urge keep people home and even though I prepared for this um, I didn't prepare for the amount of sugar products we would go through in this crazy time so I did I broke quarantine to get cookies Pepsi and wine listen if we're gonna be down for two weeks you know these are necessities now but I figured a necessity two days from now, wine probably doesn't fall on the list, so I should go now. Good news, they aren't putting limits on alcohol. Um, definitely on milk, bread, well, there isn't any, so there's not much to limit. But the alcohol, you can buy as much as you want, so there's that. Um, we went to two stores. As in we, I say, it's uh, myself, my mom, and my aunt. I know, we already started a cluster. But then we go to our local Dollar General and we run into my cousin and then my other cousin and then her daughter. So my family alone, we're already almost up to 10 people and this is why we have to be put on lockdown is because we suck at staying put it's one of those things that you don't know what you got until it's gone like cookies or pepsi or wine so i feel very guilty um i yelled at my mom a lot while we were out because she still is very nonchalant about this no matter how many times I tell her, she could die at any minute. And she, you know, just grabs that shopping cart and goes right along and talks to the guy that's coughing next to her. Um, that was my problem with going to the store today. We went to two stores, local. There are signs everywhere about social distancing. Um, the governor was just all over social distancing. It was ridiculous, okay? I went to the deli because I need fresh ham to get through the next two weeks, okay? Don't judge me for the ham. But, you know, she has a sign on her deli glass about social distancing. Um, I learned quickly she was not the one that put it there. And I don't think she's read it. Because this woman came out around the deli counter towards me just to talk about how I wanted my ham sliced. I obviously tried to get away from her. Um, I fell into a cooler of cakes. Um, I screamed a little bit, caused a little bit of a scene. But, I mean, basically she attacked me. She attacked me over how I wanted my ham sliced. <sighs> Guys... This is not social distancing. And it's because of people like me and the rest of my family and the deli lady and the other people that were all clustered throughout the store, you know, six feet, six feet. Um, I've heard a corn stalk. Think about a corn stalk. Um, think about two shopping carts. Um, think about Bob Knight. Um, as far as his height. He's about six feet. I, I don't know how far he threw the chair, but at this point, go off of that. However far he threw the chair, I mean, that should be a safe distance. But we have got to stop attacking people, especially at the deli counter. And, you know, would would you guys please just try to, try to pay attention and try to make this work? And, gosh, good luck to everybody. Be safe out there. It's 
gets getting scary.